y'all. It's me, Melissa, the Rambling Book Nerd. Thank you for checking out my video. It's much appreciated. So for today's video, I'm going to do a review about this book that I got from the library called Synchro Boy by Shannon McFerrin. Take a gander at that. Isn't it? Isn't the cover so pretty? You can't really tell because of the glare, but it's really neat. And I like the color scheme it has going on. All right. So, Synchro Boy is an awesome book about this young teen, 16, I think, um, who, he was on the long distance swim team, um, or the long time swim thing, I don't, I don't really know, uh, something about long distance swimming, and he was training to go to the Olympics, um, but then he got into an argument with a kid who was being rude and bullying him, and... He pushed him, so his coach suspended him, and then the dude who, you know, got knocked down in front of him, um, taunted him to go check out the synchronized uh, swim team, which is all girls, and he's like, you know what, yeah, and he goes and he does it, and he realized that he loves synchronized swimming, um, which probably is because so when he was younger, the main character, by the way, his name is Bart Lively. When Bart was younger, he was in ballet. He loved it. He moved like a dancer. He still moves like a dancer. Um, but, you know, when he was 12 years old, other boys were mean, as, you know, young boys are, because he wasn't living up to what a boy looks like and how a boy acts and boy activities and all that malarkey. Um, so he quit. And then his best friend who also got a lot of flack for not being like, hmm, boy, I am boy, you know, or, uh, they both joined the swim team, and, you know, they were at the low end of the totem pole, but they got by, uh, and then, you know, Bart just gonna do it, and for a while, he was, like, waffling on, uh, should I be in the swim team, should I do synchro, and then he decides to, you know, do synchronized swimming, um, and, you know, because this is a young adult novel, it won't mean, it doesn't have to have romance in it. This one does. Um, and it's neat because not only is he figure is Bart figuring out, like, what kind of, kind of young person he wants to be, he's figuring out his sexuality. So he is into this girl, Erica, that's on the synchro, the synchro team. And they have, like, some flirtatious stuff going on. Um, but while this is happening, he is also noticing this guy boy who he thinks is attractive. And he can't help but, you know, check out his shoulders and his abs and all of that. And he's, But he's still checking out Erica and um, other girls and other boys. And he's trying to come to terms with that. Um, and I like how all of this happens organically, like it never, and like, his feelings seem, like, genuine. I've read a lot of, like, stories, like, coming-of-age stories and, like, stories where the main character is figuring out their sexuality, and sometimes it's, like, I know everyone's story is different, and, um... You know, not all coming out, coming of age stories are the same, but it seems like what what he's going through is generally how a a teenager would respond to this, um, especially the way he he's characterized in the book, um, and I like that. I like that he, you know, he he thought about it, and when like he he shifts through his feelings. Um, on, you know, where, where it's going to terms, and he's also a boy in this, ma like, lady-dominated sport, it's like a nice swimming, mainly ladies, and he's kind of, he's like trying to, you know, um, swim through those waters, had a, had to bust out a pool pun in there, or a swimming pun, I don't know, oh, um, uh, yeah, so the book is awesome. Uh, and then he, I don't want to ruin it and, like, just, like, skew out the whole synopsis of, uh, like, the whole plot of the book, so then you won't even have to read it, because 
you know, I want you guys to read this book. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm kind of you figured it out. I'm trying to figure out the best way that I, for me to, uh, you know, do these review videos because everyone does it differently. And here's my way of me just rambling and talking to you about the crazy person. Okay, anyway, back to the book. Um, he, the book is awesome. He is Erica, who he says in that place he's just been with. There's the dive boy, who you don't figure out his name until, like, at least 75% in. Like, for most of the book, he is just referred to as attractive dive boy. Um, and then you figure out his name is, like, David. And then there's also, like, this part comes out of nowhere. Um, he's also falling in lust with Erica's arch enemy, which isn't, I don't know, it wasn't lust. I think it was just, like, teenage hormones. He's like, oh, pretty girl. Mwah. Um, I, like, yeah, and the story is not just, oh, I mean, it all, oh, blah, words. It, it's all about him. But the side characters that are mentioned also have um, a, a place to shine. And I like how everyone has their own little, their own little backstory. Even though he's best friend in here, I wish we would have known more about him. Um, and he wasn't a very good friend to his best friend Riley. Was not a very good friend to Bart. Um, I mean, I guess you can just chalk that up to like teen boys being dicks. Um, but at the end, when he needed him, Riley came through, which is why I really liked that bond that is like, you know, like, I still have to respect you, you know, but, um, you have all this stuff going on and you were unsure about yourself, like, I'll still be here for you, um, yes, there's a lot of talk about synchronized swimming, obviously, in this book, and it helped me, I don't know, just because of the type of, read, of reader I am, um, when I came to terms that I didn't know, I would Google it. Uh, so, like, they would talk about all these, like, conditioning practices and, like, synchronized moves and, like, figures and forms and, like, all of this stuff. Uh, I had no idea what any of that was. So, I Googled it and I looked at a lot of videos on YouTube. I fell into, like, a synchronized swimming dance like, oh, video hole at one point. Uh, it was nuts. Uh, it, it seems a lot more intense than what I thought. Like, it is amazing what they can do. Um, so, yes. All in all, I enjoyed this book. Um, and I highly suggest that if you got anything out of me rambling uh, and, like, you know, bouncing around um, talking about it, you go check it out. It's amazing. It's all, a, it's a, like I said, coming of age kind of coming out story all about figuring out who you are in the wild world in general it's about self-identity um and it's also about like camping for a cause bart wants to go to the olympics in a mixed wet pair for synchronized swimming and that's not a thing at all and so he is trying to drum up support for mixed duet like lady and and uh lady and guy synchronized swimming pair and then he, yeah, and sometimes um, he gets really disheartened because everyone's like, oh, synchro boys must be gay or we're girly or like, oh no, people talk about them. Um, but overall, he champions this cause. Like, it's not just about him, you know, figuring himself out. He's like trying to drum up support for this thing that he is really into, which is awesome. Um, I like oh my god, I feel like I said um so many times in this, but good book. I'm going to read some of these like little anecdotes about the book because uh, I'm going to call back to my horrible pun about, you know, swimming through that I made, and I think everyone who would try to do an anecdote in the back here used a horrible swim-related, pool-related pun. Uh, my favorite is, where is it? Okay. Synchro Boy is funny, bittersweet, story of a teenage boy's self-awareness and acceptance, set within the ultimate crucible of teenage lust, the swimming pool. Uh, this is from Douglas Davey, author of Switch. I don't know what kind of swimming pools 
Douglas Davy was hanging out in when he was a teenager. But pools were not filled with lust. Um, they were just awkward and filled with baby pee, most likely. Okay, another one, which I like. How is it? Wait, where is it? Oh, this one had like three, three swimming related pool related, like pun type things. Where is it at? With sparkling dialogue and understanding believable characters, Shannon McFerrin has crafted a captivating debut novel with an Olympic sized heart and depth. That's one and two. Synchro Boy will have you cheering and leave you breathless. That's three. Dive in. That's four. Four pool swim related puns. From Warren Fitcherson, author of Out of Sync. That one was good, but honestly, I love the other one, the first one about lust in the swimming pool. Uh, and the last one that I'm going to read, which I think is awesome, and it has a lot of... Uh, ah, here it is. I think this one has two, like, swimming pool things. A sports novel with so much heart. Single boy dives deep. That's one. Into the pool of assumptions. That's two. Uh, into a pool of assumptions, cruelty, and other people's expectations. And emerges victorious and hopeful. I'm going to count emerges as three because you have to emerge from the water. All right. This has been a really weird book review about Synchro Boy by Shannon McFerrin. Check it out. Oh, my God. Wait, actually, going back before I end this video, I love this book. It was amazing. Um, and there is a movie called Giant Little Ones um, that's no relation, nothing about this book, but it's very similar um and it's a bit more bittersweet and angst filled than this book this book ends on a happy high note and um you know everything's kind of figured out and wrapped up neatly with a little bow uh there is a movie called giant little ones it came out 2018 you can watch it on hulu or netflix or youtube and it is amazing it is about two longtime friends, both boys, both young teenagers, um, who, you know, are hanging out and drunk for one of their, one of them, one of their birthdays, worse. and, um, they get drunk, you know, teenage, teenage drinking, and they fool around, two boys who, one has a girlfriend, the other one kind of has a girlfriend, they're both with ladies, with girls, and um, they get drunk, they fool around. One boy's kind of scared and runs away and starts a vicious rumor. And the other one is left with the fallout of figuring himself out. And, you know, it's very angst-filled. It's very bittersweet. Um, it's also, like Synchro Boy, uh, has um, talks about, like, um, coming of age and figuring out your self-identity and I think the tagline for that movie is uh, love without labels which is amazing to me and I really enjoyed it so um, if you like books or movies about coming of age about swimming about figuring out who you are um, and also you know just a bittersweet love it's like for this one it's like cute and adorable and you know everything gets tied up at the end with the bow um but in giant little ones it's bittersweet it's ink spilled and i love it it's a good movie i'm going to in the bottom put a link to this author's website or twitter or whatever wherever they are on social media i'm also going to link the goodreads um page for this book i'm going to link my blog as always and i'm also going to link um the youtube link for the trailer for giant little ones uh, i highly suggest you read this book you watch that movie remember they're not connected they are not affiliated in any way um after reading this book i just uh was reminded of that movie that i loved and watched recently all right now now i am done with this weird book Bye. Thank you for checking out my video. Like and subscribe below. Comment if you want to talk about anything I just talked about. 
Um, or if you have any words, I don't know why I'm so rambly today. Or if you have any future book suggestions that sound similar to this book or that movie that I just talked about. Mm, bye.